Hi guys, Joseph Coyne here. I'm an accredited exercise physiologist and I've helped tons of people just like yourself get across that marathon finish line. Now what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you three little simple technique drills that will make your running much more efficient, okay, make your running much quicker and also decrease the likelihood of you getting injured while you, while you complete all your training and your running. Now, with technique, it's very important not to overcomplicate things. For instance, there's a massive buzz in the industry right now with uh, forefoot uh, striking and uh, versus a heel strike or midfoot and so forth. Look, the best thing to do is to make sure you, have, you make small changes to your technique uh, and that will improve your efficiency rather than trying to rearrange everything because people, as they develop, they develop their own best technique for their body shape and body size. Okay, so the first technique we want to show you is where your foot should be landing when you're running. Now, ideally, your foot will land directly under your centre of gravity, which is in line uh, with, where, with your hips. Okay, so the drill we use for this is we lift one leg up, nice and high, and then from there, we just let it drop. Okay, uh, what we want to occur is for the foot to land directly beside the other foot. All right, and this drill will help make sure that one, your uh, Cadence doesn't get too slow, and also you're landing nice and directly under your centre of gravity, which will increase your efficiency and also your speed. So the drill is you simply hold up your leg and you drop it, and then from the advancements on the drill, uh, you hold up your leg, drop it, bring it back up, drop it, bring it back up, drop it, bring it back up. Okay, and all the time you want to be checking that the leg lands directly in line with the other leg. The second drill that I'm going to show you helps with your recovery. Now, this is very important uh, because improving your recovery is the quickest way to improve your stride frequency. Uh, we know this from sprinters. Now, no doubt many of you have seen the uh, uh, bottom kick drill where people run along and flick their heels up to touch the bottom. Now, this is actually teaching incorrect recovery. What we want to see with recovery is that the heel, or sorry, ankle, of the recovering leg clears uh, the knee of the leg that's in the start space, clears the knee of the leg that's, that's uh, on the ground. So if we're looking side on and I take my leg up, the ankle here wants to clear this knee first. So you don't want to come back like that and then forward, which is wasted effort. You want to come above the knee through, which shortens the recovery phase of your sprinting or and your running and also increases your stride frequency. So the drill we use for this is you just get a little bit of knee bend in one knee, similar to how you'd be with your running. You place both hands on that leg, then from there you aim to bring your trailing leg back over above the knee of the leg that's on the, uh, on the ground in front. Okay, so it'll look like that. Okay. So again, we want to bring the ankle of the recovering leg straight over or straight past through the knee of the uh, leg that's on the ground to start, supposedly. The last drill we're going to give you is something for the upper body and how well your arms move will influence how well your legs move. Uh, it's very common in sprinting for uh, sprinters to have very well developed upper bodies and sprint coaches like Charlie Francis uh, have known for a long, long time that if your upper body isn't as developed you can't counteract the forces being generated by the legs and it's also very common to hear in running circles that the faster your arms move, the quicker your legs move. So, this drill, what it does, it helps build elastic energy when you run through the upper body which will transfer to the lower body to help you run quicker and uh, much more efficiently. So all you do is you think of uh, having your elbows just by your side and then all you're going to do is do short little elbows back behind the body 
uh, as if you're hitting someone behind the body. Now from here, you can increase your cadence. And this will increase the elastic energy being generated through the shoulders. And it will increase your speed while you're running. Now the keys with this is that the arms don't come across the body. The uh, forearm and fist stays directly uh, 90 degrees from where your, uh, where your chest is. Okay? And the elbows get pushed back as if you're just giving short little elbows to a uh, person behind you. So if you're looking side on, it would look like this. Okay, and that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed these, uh, these little technique tips. Uh, for more, make sure you check out www.runamarathon8weeks.com.au